video. Today, uh, I am going to be continuing the the Minecraft survival series, and I am currently... Hey, zombie. Want to say hi to my fans for me? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm going to be continuing the series. This is the first night episode since I already completed the first day. I managed to make this little shelter. And I've been visiting infested villages, surviving across mountain hills, killing the islands, and protecting my house from these ugly creatures. Now today I'm going to be continuing the video, so for now I'm going to get rid of this pan. Did he just drop an iron? So, okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thingy, but yes. I hope the is clear. Wonder, bro. I think I can hear drowned. Bro, I thought these things don't come out of water. Or I think they're just zombies that can swim. Okay. Anyway, so my plan is that I want to get to that village. And quickly get a bed. And okay, I'm running low on food too, so I guess I better go to my house. Get some supplies quickly, and then I better just sleep. Because I really need a bed to pass the night at these times. But uh, the problem is that I don't have one, and I don't have time to craft one either. Luckily, when I was in the abandoned village, I managed to get enough supplies to keep me going for a while. Like, I got 36 freaking carrots. That should keep me going for a while, and if I ever need to, I can always just visit that village and get some more. Anyway, for now, I think it... For now, I guess I should just enjoy how far I've come. But uh, one thing is for sure, I need to get a bed soon. And otherwise, I'm not going to be able to, you know, have this day going peacefully. Well, it's never going to go peacefully. This is Minecraft, bruh. So, uh, what I'm planning to do is make uh, No, not one of those things again. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna track it over here so I can get rid of it. Come in here. It's coming here. It's coming. Yeah, it's always coming here. Bro, is it asking me to come in the water or what? Ah! Bro, I should have known it was a desert trip. I'm a little scared of Minecraft by now because I'm always afraid I'm going to die eventually. I'm afraid to cross this Yeah, finally that darn thing noticed me. Okay, I guess I'm just going to quickly swim across. A lot of monsters out here. Creeper! Come here. Come here, boy! Ah, oh, that was close. Come on, boy. Explode. Okay. See, guys, this method works. Just run straight through the creepers. Wait, wait, wait. Where's that third one gone? There was a third one. Yeah, okay. There it is. I guess I'm going to take care of these spiders. Before. Bruh. Those explosions are explosive. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty awkward. I, that's not. That didn't sound. Did. Bruh, I actually just managed to sleep here. That's the bed. Ah, fresh day. There's nothing I like more than a fresh day. Now I need to find my house and quickly get my bed there. But I don't want to. I don't want to linger around here any longer. But I don't really remember where I left it, but I guess I'm just going to find it. Yeah, it was somewhere near this mountain. But guys, luckily now, <laughs> I managed to get a bed, or I technically robbed a bed. But yeah, and my house is also high up here, and it's fully covered up. So, my like, guys, for today, I was planning that I could go somewhere near around the lines of mining, because that would actually be pretty fun. This. Now, I'm new to Minecraft on PC. I normally used to play it on my iPad. So I'm on 1.6. 
I should directly. And so guys, today I'm planning to go mining. Now that that's the first night over, but today I, I that lava I've seen it last time. Okay, now no, I need to do something really risky. Okay, it was an accident. Whoa! <laughs> Epic jump. That was a pretty good aim now. I really need to hope I don't really die out here because this was not my favorite place to die. I want to die facing the sunset, not mining in a cave. Especially in Minecraft. Okay, I'm gonna try get to the Okay, there's support. That was pretty quick. I'm just gonna take this. There should be some more around here. I, I was just planning though. Today I wanna go mining. I need to find a cave to do that. But uh, in Minecraft, it's not really hard to find a cave because the stakes are pretty high. And by the way, I'm an experienced Minecraft player by now. I'm good at it. Well, I know how to survive. And hopefully, if I can put my skills to good work, then I will be able to survive this world and eventually manage to beat the game by getting to the Ender Dragon and killing that huge beast. Bro, there's a lot of coal here. I just hope this place actually this actually leads me somewhere. Another thing I have to know that the best way you can play Minecraft is honestly on some kind of controller or on your iPad, but on a PC it's really hard to play Minecraft considering all the button. Okay, that's it. I'll need some stone to cobblestone as it mine because I don't have a oh. I hate falling down blocks. Okay, I'm just gonna get as much cobblestone as I can hold. I mean, not that much because uh, I really can't bear it. And, okay, uh, I was at earlier thinking about digging straight down to find some, you know, places where I could mine, but honestly, the number one rule of Minecraft is don't dig straight down, so I don't think that's gonna work out. Okay, now I think I should take this stockpile back, craft some stone tools to speed up my mining, and then... Okay, getting back up there is going to be harder than I expected. I'm pretty sure that was a zone. But where is that? Where is that zombie? And lately, I've also been thinking if I should head up to the village. Uh, uh, there it is. L okay, anyway, where was I? Yeah. Lately, I've been thinking I should just head back to that village and see if I can then, you know, get somewhere. So, wait, wait, wait. Is that what I think it is? Yep. I'm pretty sure that's a cave right there. Okay. I found it even earlier than I expected. I expected that it would take me about, like, a few days or so to find that cave. And luckily, I've even got an iron ingot already, so if you remember earlier, I was just killing a zombie. But <laughs> Anyway, this series has been going pretty well so far. I've been surviving pretty good, if it's surviving to begin with. We've got an abandoned village there. I've got an easy food supply whenever I need to. And plus, I even got a bed, so I've got a respawn point. And so far, this world has been going pretty good. I hope you guys have liked and subscribed. If you haven't, be sure to do that now. I'm targeting to see if this video can get up to 5 likes, then we're definitely going to do another mission. And we're going to give honorable mentions. By the way, considering that we mentioned honorable mentions, I just want to say honorable mention to my friend Ahmed. He actually lives in the same compound as I do, and he gave me the idea that we should try and doing a, you know, try to... He, you, have you guys heard of Call of Duty? Because I have downloaded Call of Duty Warzone on my PlayStation. I'm going to be trying to review that. Let me know in the comments if we should do any videos with Call of Duty in them. I don't really know much, so it's going to take me a while. But I've heard a lot about that game. I've heard it's a really popular one, and it's really played a lot. 
So uh, let me guys let me know if you guys are willing for a Call of Duty. Because I'd be up to anything that you guys would like. But for now, I think we need to work on surviving. So I'm just gonna place this again here. Iron ingot here. My house is already getting out covered, so I need to actually work more. This is my first night shelter. Anyway, so first of all, if I'm ever gonna be going mining in that cave, I'll need to be prepared. So I'm gonna keep this rotten flesh here because believe me, rotten flesh is the worst kind of flesh. I've got some spare stick. I'm gonna keep some blocks with me because I'll need them. Keep that ingot back in there. And keep my wooden tools just in case I need them. And I'll really, I expect that I'll need them soon. Anyway. So now, guys, as you guys remember, we just saw that cave. And I'll need some torches, too, which I need to craft. I think I forgot to do those. How do you craft torches? Wait, how do you craft torches? I'm pretty sure it's just sticks and coal, right? Yeah, there we go. Yep, sticks and coal. So now we've got 40 torches, and unfortunately for me, that used up all my coal. But in my opinion, I think it's worth it, so... Now, I'm pretty sure that cave was somewhere, like... I, I didn't even remember where it was. Right there. I'd overlook, so I've got a food supply nearby, a cave nearby, and also a horde of zombies nearby. But... Apart from the horde of zombies, I have to admit, the geographical location of my base was actually a base house was actually pretty good the only problem was it was so near to that abandoned village it is like basically home to zombie villages yeah yeah i think i should collect this dirt quickly because i might need it if i need a one way out because this ticket because dirt is basically a one-way ticket out of the cave if you so I think I'm gonna collect some of these. I'm just gonna eat the carrots. Even my carrot stockpile will run out soon. It kind of stinks because I had a lot of carrots on me. Uh, I think I should also stop by there and get some, you know, those uh, string thingies so I can craft myself. Whoa, I think that would be useful. Well, only need three. Now, I'm pretty sure you break bows with a sword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I get enough pieces of string, I'll be able to make myself a good old fashioned bow. Now, I might just collect a few of this food and then we'll be ready to go in that cave because we have food, we've got light, and we've got a clock. Or technically a one-way ticket out. So basically, what could go wrong? Uh, unless a creeper sneaks behind me, I don't know what could go wrong. But honestly, unless a creeper sneaks behind me, I have no idea what could go wrong. Now, I just hope that doesn't happen, because believe me, that would stink. Anyway, I'm just gonna collect some of these potatoes. I love potatoes, especially rich. And how many of you love chips? I'm pretty sure half of you do. Uh, if I was to estimate, I'd say like 99% of you watching love chips. Okay. Enough small talk. We need to get this episode over with. But, uh, Okay. Now, we need to get this episode over with. I need to keep my fans happy. So, we're gonna just head into that dark cave. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Hee <laughs> hee. Hashtag my nervous voice. Seriously. Okay. Yep. Whew, I got scared for a second. For a second I thought that there wasn't really a cave to begin with, but... Okay. I hate mining, seriously. If I was to say what I hate most about Minecraft, I'd say it's mine. Okay, that's the biggest cave I've ever seen. Now, I don't really want any coal, and nor do I need any, so I just get them. Oh dear, it's getting dark. I guess we should just go back to the, the shelter. 
Because believe me, I don't want to be around here when those zombies wake up. Yeah, it's on that island right there. Let's hurry before these zombies show up again. Been hard playing Minecraft. I mean, anyone who says video games are easy, I mean, especially Minecraft, doesn't know what they're talking about. Oh dear. Oh no. The hell was that? What was that? Okay, I'm just gonna sleep and hope these zombie monsters die or Okay. That was a tough night. What am I talking about? I didn't even see what's in the house. I'm pretty sure I'm still hearing voices outside of me. And not good voices. Those ones. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's the voice of a skeleton dying. Oh no. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Come on. Thank you for dying, my friend. That was really convenient. I'm pretty sure spiders aren't hostile at night, day. But just in case, I think I'm gonna take my. Anyway, so I've just got uh, two arrows. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna grab myself a bow. I just need a few pieces. One piece of wood. So guys, I'm going to say hello to my bow. I'm going to craft some sticks. Okay, that's all the sticks. Uh, that's the wood. Now I need to craft the sticks. And now, voila. Whoa. I've got two arrows, which leave me a really bad amount. Now, how do you craft arrows? I want to know how you craft arrows because I'll, I'll definitely need to. Flint sticks and feathers. Okay, I definitely. Now, the music's making Minecraft sound like a really peaceful game. Okay, guys, now this video has been going pretty well so far. I mean, the mining experience wasn't bad, but. The first night episode is successfully completed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next or the third one of Minecraft Survival. See you later.